did. Now I'm the gal that's chasing you up to the cliff. My lid, call me your eagle beaver, baby. Hello, and welcome to Was That an Orgy? Woo! <laughs> Starring Charlene and Teresa Bod, two sisters that explore the topics of sex, sexuality, gender, and sex positivity. We will also try to answer the question Was that an orgy? Live. We're singing about butts. Singing about butts. Because we're a bunch of dirty sluts. That's butts, right. Butts, butts. We love butts. We love butts. We love butts. But let's talk about our big butt. Shall oh, we? I got a big butt. Oh, uh, you got a badonka donk. <laughs> you got <laughs> well, some junk not, in your not trunk, by girl. today's standards, no. I know, I know. But, you know, people are getting butt implants and stuff. You never know. Just like mm. tits. You never know who's got the real butt anymore. I know. The insanity. I've, like, heard people are, like, pumping insulation in their butts and stuff. What? Like, Did you hear about the woman uh, in Florida that got arrested for, she was doing a um, an underground butt clinic um, in, in her garage, and she was fixing butts. I'm not kidding. With fix a flat. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> oh yes, oh <laughs> we yeah. have a special guest today. Yes, uh, Holly Hogan. Um, I call her Hori Schlong. Yeah. Ho- Holly, you know, <laughs> Long Hogan. She's my roommate. Everybody, she's adorable. Yeah! She's fun. She's wonderful. She's fartistic, and uh-huh. she likes to paint butts. But. Yay! Butts, 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 butts. Sluts with butts. Sluts of paint butts. Yeah. So um, I, we just thought it'd be fun to have her on. Um, and we'll, well, should we shoot the shit first? Now that everyone knows my wonderful, oh. beloved friend and roommate, yeah. Lori Hogan. Um, you know, we we have her on as a special guest that's going to be making a painting of Char's butt. That's right. Char's my big butt, butt is big butt. getting painted today. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Let's talk. It's, let's look at it. I will be showing a little side butt, I think. But it's Ooh, it is butt. covered. It's not a naked butt, YouTube, so don't pull us. Yeah. It and I did panties. bring the puppet theater in case we're like, you know, it looks too dodgy. I think it's okay to show butts on YouTube if they're they have a thong it's on. A butt, it's a button underwear. Yeah. Okay. It's a button underwear. Yeah. Even if it's a thong. It's right. even more than a thong. Slightly more. more. Than it's a, a V. Thong. It's a V shape that goes. Definitely goes into the crack. Yeah. Cheeky. 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 Yes. That's thank you. Yes. I like style. it. Of course. I like yes. it. It's my favorite style of underwear. It is. It's yeah. so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, we usually, because uh, we're talking about butts, let's let's shoot the shit. All right. Well, without butts. At I first. am nope, wearing an outfit butts. that I bought for Glow, Glow Job, mm-hmm. um, which was this last weekend, Saturday night. Explain to those ignoramic guys like me. Is a, I believe it's EDM. Technically, electronic dance music. Um, yeah. And everyone gets glowy. So you look out into the the crowd and it's all people wearing neon colors. And the only lights that are on are black lights. Nice. So and this was at the Star glowy. Theater. You it was said, at the right? Star Theater. It happens once a year. It really is one of the most amazing events that I've been to. Wow. And then um, Sanctuary always has an after party. Which nice. is also glowing. So nice. really, it's called the afterglow. Yeah. Nice. I wonder oh, if they're are they affiliated with Glow Fuck Yourself at all? I don't know. A whole company they make glow in the dark sex toys. Okay. Also, I want to look into that. Uh, like they have like a Baphomet one. There's one. They're also a lot a lot of them are really scandalous and sacrilegious. Oh. So there's one that looks like Jesus. So nice. Oh. She has one that looks like Jesus. Well, now I have it somewhere. Some one of us has I it think somewhere. I do have it oh, because I did you, you ladies I, share dildos, you really are cool. Well, it's <laughs> never been in me. No. I don't know about you, Teresa. Let but... Jesus fuck you. Let <laughs> Jesus fuck you. Yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it uh, compels you, <laughs> kind of smells you. Um, it's a crucifix that's like has a dick head at the bottom and Jesus is on it. Like, yeah, yeah. come and get it. But you know, I just remembered, I do have it. I think I just remember where it is. Cause I oh. did, I have a shrine over my bed and I did have it hanging down. Oh my God. Shrine. That's awesome. And then I didn't realize it was in a zoom meeting and I like to get into my bed oh, and God. it was like oh, hanging God. over. Oh, God, literally. Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. Yeah. It just reminds me what to say during sex. Look up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Then they Jesus, think they're Lord doing God. real good, you know. But anyway, I was in yeah. the Zoom meeting and uh, <laughs> it's not as bad as some Zoom meeting, you know, fails I've heard of. Oh, my but, God. But yeah, one of the ladies was like, um, she was like, 
uh, Teresa, what is that hanging behind your head? Like behind you? And I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh, that's just a crucifix. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah. Just that, I love Jesus. It reminds in me. In my pussy. The other day I was yeah. on. Really I was. <laughs> yeah. Really. From the inside, all the way inside of me. I love him so deep, much. Deep, Not in my heart as much, but, you know, he's in there. <laughs> he gets yeah. close, though, occasionally. Oh, I can't um, wait till the next person asks me, have you taken our Lord Savior into your heart? And I'll be like, not necessarily, you know, <laughs> but he's in there. Yes, via the pussy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day I was on a call with a very, very famous big client and uh, drinking my coffee. And I look and I'm using my I love you a whole lot mug that has a <gasps> butthole in the middle of a donut. And I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> like slowly lower it down. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was such an idiot. Yeah. And by the way, speaking of which, I just remembered. Um, so I have that on Redbubble. And this weekend, I was working on a bunch of was that an orgy merch Yay, on Redbubble. Sure, 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 so sure, sure, we will sure. soon have merch available, which will be mugs, T-shirts, all that stuff. And we have it that's just the logo. And then we also have it with the sassy bod sisters on it as well. Oh, that's fabulous. So um, we will be posting links um, to the show or, or to the uh, where you can buy it. I'll probably also just buy a bunch of merch so you can send us an email if you want to buy something and I can help facilitate that because it is happening. Can Finally, people pick their own photo. We have so many inbred photos, you know. Oh, I mean, we could. Yeah. I if just if someone logo. sent yeah. a photo and said, I love this photo of you. Can you help me put it on a T-shirt? I could definitely yeah, like do that because I have a forward creator. licking all the dildos from two weeks ago. Like, <laughs> what if that's what someone really wants? It's the classic. It's a classic. Instant classic. Well, the, the video is the worst, yeah. though, because I look like a weird sloth woman. I'm like, uh, I told her I was taking a picture, and she was like, I was like, lick them, get down there. You know? And then so she's just sitting there, ha, 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 breathing all over all the dildos. And I was like, I took a video. I should put up the other video uh, that you took of me while I was taking off my makeup. And remember, I look like Pris from Blade Runner because my yeah. eyeliner was just like all the way across yeah. my face. And I didn't realize you were just talking to me. You were playing it so casually. You're like, yeah. nah, 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 nah. and then I'm, you know, kind of like cheesing with you. And then you're like, I'm taking a video. <laughs> <laughs> Once a bratty little sister, always a bratty little sister. That's oh the truth God. of it. That's so the truth. It is. It yeah. is bratty little sister. So do we want to dig into? Well, I have more but, questions about this fucking neon thing you went to. Oh, yeah. You can do it at the same time if you want. I mean, I guess you could just like. I can send a photo you know, that we can put in the, the comments. Well, you know what it made me okay. think of is like, okay, when you went to Sanctuary. Okay, remember? Uh -huh. When we were in Germany yeah. and uh, we were yeah. watching the TV, I, was it just me? I just remember flipping through the television in the hotel room mm -hmm. and they had, uh, I couldn't believe how much porn you could just you oh, know, actually I know. turn yeah. on. You don't have to pay extra. It's just like, oh, watch Mr. It's Rogers fun. or an orgy. Yeah. It's and, weird because it's either Charles Bronson movies mm -hmm. or porn. Fucking weird. At three in the morning. Fucking way. At least it's not the both. It was Charles Bronson porn. <laughs> yeah. But not so good. Not so good. But yeah, so all of a sudden it was like gl day glow, you know, glow in the dark porn. And yeah. so it was like people had paint, you know, around their eyes and around their mouths and glow in the dark condoms and some yeah. hand stuff going on and, you know, on their nipples. So, and then when people started fucking or like sucking a cock, you just see it's like hide the sausage, hide the day oh, yeah. sausage. It would just disappear, reappear, disappear, reappear <laughs> into the darkness of oh, someone's wow. orifice. That's novel. Yeah. 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 Isn't fun? <laughs> yeah. And at that point I was burned. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I didn't see anything like that happen where there was actual like glow in the dark or, you know, penetration. Yeah. No glow in the say dark it, penetration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. None of that that I saw. But then again, I might have left early. So yeah. there you go. I might have missed a thing. You were busy doing your own thing. I was doing as, I as was you doing are. My own thing. All right. So, so person. you're wearing under there your day glow saucy, sassy outfit. Yeah. The second outfit that I never changed into. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, Fantastic. It's the debut of this. It's the day. It's the day butt. The day butt. It's the day butt. Yeah. So Same I'm wearing mind. the extra one because, you know, when you buy something from fantasy, 
you can't take it back. They it's don't, true. They don't take it back once you've walked out of no, the door with it. And, no. and for good reason. Like I wouldn't want to buy something that's been inside someone else. Or that yeah. already has like clitty litter in the crotch of it. Mm-hmm. Like you want your own clitty litter. Just so, mine. Just mine. Just mine. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's good enough I just wanted to hear the end of that. Yeah. Now you can flash your butt and, you know. All right. So Holly's going to help pose me. I'm going to move the microphone so I can stand up. So my head might go off camera for a while, but you're going to get my butt. But yeah. But right. your oh, luscious good, good. butt. I'm, right. I'm going to need to take a photo of you, too. Yeah. Well, I didn't um, say a shit. So that's good. You do you. Yeah, are we not allowed to say Words. Oh no! Oh, you can you can, you can say as many as fucking as goddamn as okay. shitty curse words. All right, so I actually I am gonna I'm gonna run and grab my phone because I'm gonna take oh. a photo of Char, or I can take one with three. Yeah, yeah, you can. Mine's one right phone, here. Get her pose. So yeah. I do something called go. booty boudoir. It's a boudoir <sighs> a boudoir painting um, <sighs> rather than boudoir photography. But war. Mm-hmm. But war. Well, that's why I call it booty boudoir. But booty I, boudoir. I paint tits and legs and all that. Kind of Kind of yeah. Too, and to be specific, although I'm sure you have in your life, you know, dibble dabbled around the duty hole, like, you know, live on the butt. She actually doesn't paint on the butts. She paints <laughs> on canvas, whatever your butt looks I like. An image of your best butt, your best butt. Yes. Put your yeah. best butt forward. Yeah, put your best butt Okay, so <laughs> you're going to get to help pose me. Put your best I'm behind. I'm going to try not to forward. flash titties because this is a little revealing. So, um. Sure, I would arch your back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Turn around, stick it out. Yeah. Should we have her put a leg up or no? Um, well, that's no, I flatten out my cheek. If I yeah, do that. no, no, no. Oh, no, okay. No, I no. see. No, I'm we want to see um, the bodacious, bodacious okay. okay. butt cleavage. So, Here we go. Um, so, arch your back a little bit, mm-hmm. and maybe um, turn your hip just a little bit. Mm-hmm. And mm, that looks or, a little unnatural. So, okay. let's. See. Or actually, I would probably go more like this. Like if I'm. Marching that way. I don't know. What about hand on the hip? What do you think? Yeah, you Is that sassy? Well, this hip or this? Okay, why don't we tuck tuck this <gasps> into your tits like this? There we go. God, tuck it. Tuck That's it. terrifying. Tuck it in your tits. Tuck it in my tits. There you go. Okay, there that we seems go. secure. And let's also talk about how um, how do you want me to crop this? So do you want like a little bit of like lip and and um, jawline in it? Like sure, yeah. Be, like our whole profile, yeah. or or do you want to I... just be kind of like um, you know. Coquettishly say. looking over your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that. Yeah. I like the term mm-hmm. too. Coquettishly, yeah. Coquettishly look, look over your shoulder okay, at so Hori. Actually, look at me. Like, give yeah. Me, like, give me a sexy mm-hmm. look, like you. Like under your eyelashes, oh, okay. like you like, know yeah. you oh, want hey, this bodacious booty. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's smile. Yeah, too. yeah. She's yeah, like yeah, smile mm-hmm. with teeth. Yeah, there you go. Without or with teeth? No, with teeth. With it's teeth. Sexier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll, show we'll them take a couple. Show them your pearly whites and stick your butt out a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. And that brown stuff. <laughs> okay, this is what they have like Victoria's Secret models do all the time. I know it's uncomfortable. You have to is. arch the hell out of your back. Yeah. Okay, so, now. Uh, oh, okay. Well, while you do that out so um, far. You guys can talk about how to position her butt just right, but okay. uh, I wanted to give <laughs> like a little, a little bit more towards me. Uh-huh. Okay. I wanted to give a little bit of background info about Hori, my lovely roommate. Okay. So Face a little bit more towards me. She went uh-huh. to art school. Okay. And um, is wonderful at all forms of art. And it's actually one of the basis of our friendships is that you used to invite me over to go to Little Satan's Workshop in her apartment. And we would do <laughs> art Santa, together. Uh, Satan's Workshop. Yeah, Sa- it was Satan's Workshop. Yeah. Right. And then uh, I came over one day with a bunch of like felt and was like, let's make felted okay. vagina ornaments. I have a winner. And you then- have a winner? Yeah. You have a winner? Oh, that is cute. Yeah. And then Holly uh, started making vagina uh, fascinators. Did you call them vaginators? Like uh, the little hats? That's pretty. The miniature pussy hats? Those things oh, are yeah, so I cute. I called them fascinators. Okay. Like, vaginators would be better. Vaginators. Vaginators. Yeah. So I have one. Um, I have yeah, I do too. Lisa has two because I forgot that I Oh, there's a one. question for Holly. Oh, is, yeah. it on the, yeah. is it on the... Oh, in five seconds. And five then you'll see it on that question. screen over there. But anyway, I was telling him how, like, you start. Oh, what's the question? Uh, what are the... You read it. You can read. <laughs> you're closer. What are the specific qualities you're looking for in the perfect butt? Male butts and female butts. <laughs> now, um, I'm curious about this question. Do you think that they mean aesthetically for paintings or just, like, what you like to put your hands on? Yeah, that... Um, uh, <laughs> we that need specifics. Would be good, but yeah. 
But, 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 <laughs> you know, I like to say, I think all, all booties are beautiful. Um, all can, yes. be, um, can be portrayed in, in their best light. Um, me personally, I find I have an aesthetic attraction, an aesthetic attraction, <laughs> uh, specifically to bubble butts, but, but. <laughs> But <laughs> I can't go anywhere with it. Um, can't believe we didn't bring our fart machine in so that every time someone uh, says the magic word, you know, uh, uh, that'd be so great. Damn it. But I think there's a place in this world for all different kinds of asses. It's totally. true. I was about to say hindsight is 2020. Yeah. Be hindsight. Yes. Yeah, so hindy sight. In a nut sack. So what happened is um, Holly's an artist. She went to art school. She's very autistic, very fartistic. And started doing pet por portraiture. And then, you know, that is, is wonderful and it's been increasing. But then it wasn't it like last Valentine's you had the idea? A, I think it was two Valentine's ago. Tell like, us a story. Maybe it, was, maybe it was last Valentine. <laughs> it was. It was Valentine's 2021. I had all of these extra postcards lying around that had, um, so they were a tiny little postcard size canvas mm -hmm. um, that actually had the, the lines on the back where you put a stamp and like a address it and, and everything. And I was like, hey, I put a little a, a little campaign up on social media um, that was just, do you want to, you ever want to send nudes, but, but make it, make it artsy um, yeah, for Valentine's I love Day. It. Like you, you can do this and, and it's something that you can display in your house. And like when grandma comes over, you don't have to take it down. Like nobody yeah. even has to know it's you. Yeah. Um, send nudes. And so it was actually so surprisingly successful. I got a bunch of my friends and, and then some referrals, friends of friends sending me pictures of their parts yeah, yeah they can send news private commissions yeah. <laughs> um, that I, I i ended up having to get more of those postcards like I had to, oh, so great I, I went to the place where i bought them originally um which is columbia drafting great little art store uh, art supply store on burnside and they were out of them so i had to order some from amazon in order to get get some in time oh um, it's a backlash of abundance yes <laughs> yes, yes. Is there anything that you that you're like, oh hell no, I won't paint that. Like is it would it like if someone were to send you a dick pic, would you paint it or actually like... so someone in an art group that I'm on, um, I posted my second butt portrait ever and was mm -hmm. just like, Oh ha 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 you know, it's a it's a Facebook group and everybody talks about, you know, what they're working on. Um, and I was I said something, send nudes, but make it artsy. Mm -hmm. And I got a random message in my inbox that was a picture of somebody's dick. And, oh, and no. they were just like, well, you said send nudes, but make it artsy. And I was like, well. Was it actually artsy? I was like, I actually wrote him back and I was like, hey, this is unsolicited and that's not really cool. But, you know, $100. But. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want me to paint this. Like, otherwise, buzz off. And then he, yeah. was, right. he buzzed off. Ah, uh, uh, damn! But what a turkey! But, but. <laughs> <laughs> we do need a yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> oh, good! Thank oh. God! Thanks, Michael. <laughs> Michael's Thanks for farting for us, Michael. <laughs> You're such a gentleman. Yeah. Um, but there, I have gotten some, some, um, some very unusual. Um, so somebody one time sent me. Um, they wanted to do a, a nude to surprise their their fiance with. This is a, a person that uh, I used to work with and I'm still casually friends with. Um, she's very sweet. Mm -hmm. But um, she was just like, okay, I've sent him some nudes before. I'm just going to go home and look through my stuff and I'll send you one. Because um, mm. we were on a kind of a tight deadline. And um, tight little deadline you got. There you <laughs> go. <Yeah. laughs> That's and what you call it. <laughs> she sent me a photo of... Um, she had a, a butt plug in, like, oh. like she said, the end, and attracted it and said, like, oh, my gosh, um, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm, I hope I didn't offend you. Like, she, she got really embarrassed. And I was like, this is actually awesome. I will take this. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you have to think about uh, if this is something you want to display in your house. Like, right. Like, think yeah. about like, do you want it just to be, like, a sexy, intimate thing between you and your partner? Because mm -hmm. it seems yeah. like you've already sent him this um, yeah right. you already have that 
Yeah. Um, but if you want like a, a painting that you can hang on the wall, maybe you might want to tone it down a little bit. So, right. Um, yeah. So there are very few things that I, I won't paint. I wouldn't paint something that, you know, um, depicted somebody who was underage or like, oh, yeah. a, like a, right. any kind of like horrible act that seemed like it was forced or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, painful. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't done a couple yet, but I've actually had people ask me, oh, like, would yeah. you, you paint like me and my partner? Like, yeah. doing yeah. a sexy thing. And I said, yeah, totally, I do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's cool. You know, um, soon as soon as I uh, seduce Michael into coming over and hooking up all my um, uh, social media live streaming stuff <laughs> and start doing like the live art, I actually am going to be like live painting some like genitalia, oh, like some yay. punanis and, and, you know, making punani art um, live streaming. So if anyone wants a cunt mission. For me, just let me know. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I think I think that'll be fun and good for. I like I like the uh, just um, liberating our genitalia from you know all of this free oppression. pussy, free pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. that song. Yeah. Wait, is that a that song from uh, My Little Pussy Were and Her Back Door or something? Oh, <laughs> oh pussy got sore, pussy sore song. pussy. Yeah, the song I sing, uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of a dirty shame, isn't it? The, the John I think it is, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Tracy Ullman, like, when she starts to get seduced to become a hypersexual or whatever. <laughs> she got knocked in the head and the she concussion made her horny. Yeah. The, first, the first clue that something's not right with her is everywhere she goes, she hears all these, like, horny songs. And that's yeah. Funny. And uh -huh. everything looks like a vagina or a dick or something. And well, all I have that problem. Yeah, God, <laughs> I know. Same. <laughs> In the Thank worst. You. Oh, this is worth mentioning. Um, I also have an Instagram account that is seldom visited, but it's called This Looks Like a Butt. Um, oh, I love it. it. It's all things that look like butts. So, yeah, for... for for whatever vaginas were for Tracy Ullman in um, A Dirty Shame, butts are to me. Yeah, I hear you. Have you seen the, the Secret Buttholes um, Instagram? The Secret Buttholes? Yeah, so. it's it's That's just amazing. like anytime someone sneaks a butthole into a photo, they they tag Secret Buttholes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty so fun. How do you sneak a butthole into a... Well, kind of like kind of like my butthole donut thing. Oh, you know, okay. just... yeah, yeah, yeah. I spaced so, out. How do you sneak a butthole into what? Because they're kind of into a design snuck. or something. Like, oh if right. You, if so you, it's not real buttholes. It's, no, yeah. I don't. No, I don't think that they actually would let a real butthole on Instagram. But hole. I've been. But, I've seen some stuff. Oh, okay. I think they've uh, they've maybe tightened up. But. Well, so um, <laughs> when we were talking at home um, about this, I was amazed at at what uh, a reservoir. Or reservoir. reservoir. Yeah, it, uh, you are about uh, butt information, and you were mentioning something about a book you read about. I'm not sure which. Um, it was it was so long ago, but I, I didn't actually read a, a book necessarily about butts. But I was a. Uh, I didn't actually go to art school. I was an art major, and then I oh, I a, lied. Then Oops. I was an anthropology major. Oh, okay. Um, and then, and then I was, and then I was both. I graduated with a, a dual. It's in my text. Dual major. It's um, in our text. No, no, no. I know what it is. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, I've read a bunch of uh, this uh, zoologist of uh, animal behaviorist Desmond Morris. A bunch of his books, and it might have been in the Naked Ape. I don't remember which um, which one it is, but um, the the reason that we're obsessed with fleshy buttocks is, um, or at least according to his theory, is a uh, uh, um, a pound in human. Well, that yes, there, there's so many reasons. Uh, you can get into some Freudian theory with this too. But, um, and sphincters, come on. But uh, <laughs> the tightest but, hole. But um, so uh, it's something called a, a permanent estrus signal in, in human mm. females. So mm -hmm. chimpanzees, uh, who are our closest genetic relatives, when they go into heat, their their butts swell up and turn red. Right, so right. everybody knows when they are ready to mate. And then the rest of the time, the males just leave them the fuck alone. Uh -huh. um, yeah. With humans... We, we don't we don't know that um, yeah so we could be we could be fertile at any point we always have fertile. fleshy butts so we yeah. always look like yeah. we're fertile um, right and right. that 
that was kind of a, an evolutionary mechanism to uh, to convince to 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 encourage pair bonding, like mm-hmm. number one, and to um, yeah, never trust a big butt and a smile. In the immortal words of uh, I love that <laughs> immortal words of Belle Bib DeVoe, I think it was. <laughs> Belle Bib DeVoe. Yeah, that's going on my altar too. Yeah, there's. I was uh, reading some about and butts. Distracting people with our big butts. Right? Distracting yeah. with big butts. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I was reading some about too how uh, women uh, hormonally we we have larger butts, and one of the reasons is that we use our butts as fat storage for you know extra calories. So you know mm-hmm. if, if there's a famine, if anything happens, we'll be able to. Especially when we're breastfeeding, I guess our butts get bigger. Yeah. And not only not mm-hmm. only that, it's a uh, there are certain fatty acids that um, are stored specifically in women's hips and, and buttocks that mm-hmm. um, contribute to um, fetal brain development. So yeah, the wow. biggest uh, brain to body ratio. Interesting. Um, humans, uh, human children remain dependent for a pretty comparatively long time compared mm-hmm. to any other mammal. So maybe being an ass yeah. hat's actually a compliment. Yeah, you totally. Know, if you have more ass in your head than just like you a fat head, like a fat Total head. Compliment. Exactly. I remember when I was breastfeeding, mom saying like, "Oh my god, look at this! It's like there's flax oil floating on top of your milk because it was like, it was kind of like greenish." Yeah, that was that was my ass Your grease. Ass fat. That's yeah. My ass fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It was all EFAs. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of like factoids that I brought up here, and um, you know, there's they're speculating that there could be some correlation with actually having a bigger butt and actually living longer because like the bad fat that we store in our bodies is like mm. around our stomach. And yeah, the good fat is on your butt. Yeah. So, but they're, you know, as part of the speculation is that women live longer than men in general anyway. We have bigger butts, more butt fat. Right. So, yeah, you know, butt. yeah, yeah, thank you, thank big you butt. butt. I'm going to die yeah. in like a year if that's true. Because <laughs> I have no fucking ass. But you don't have any like belly fat either. You have yeah. like, you have, I can't imagine you having a whole ton of like visceral fat around your organs and stuff. Like, there's yeah. no. The no freaking way, You're Red. No way. Ball. Not a lot going on there. You're going to be one of them crazy old bras. I got to say, though, it's like, you know, uh, I I missed the anorexic 80s time when it was like everyone was so afraid of having a big butt. Yeah. Does my butt look bad? I know. Does my butt look big? And now it's like people are asking because they want a confirmation like, yeah, your butt looks big in those yeah. jeans. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I'll never have that like jiggly, juicy booty. You know, I mean, I I can't even wear like juicy pants. It's just a lie. (laughs) Mine should just be like flat bread. One that says raisins on it. (laughs) Raisins, right? Exactly. (laughs) Or like pancakes. (laughs) Did I mention like the time like there was this guy that was talking dirty to me in in messages on Facebook? And I'm not good at that anyway. And, And. He was like, you know, yeah, I bet you got a nice, like, tight ass. And I don't want to lead anyone on. And I said, well, it'll it'll cut a turd. (laughs) And it was just like silence for a while. My turd cutter's pretty tight. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And, you know, you you know, you can see the bubbles happening when they're writing. There weren't bubbles for a long time. (laughs) He was just kind of like, (laughs) eh. But, you know, that's the best way to figure out if someone can really hang with you anyway is to go all the way right away and just be like, hey, if you can't hang with this, trust me, something worse will come out of my mouth eventually. Yeah. This little factoid's about butt hair. There's a lot of plausible theories about butt hair, such as preventing chafing between the butt cheeks as we walk oh or run. Oh, my God. That's great. But there's not a lot of research because, I mean, come on, priorities in colleges and it's stuff true. in the medical industry. <laughs> you know, screw cancer. Let's figure out why there's butt hair. I, I think it's because I think it's because nature has a great sense of humor and yeah. wanted us to get dingleberries. Totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why are turds tapered? Why? So your asshole doesn't slam shut. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. God. That sounds painful. <laughs> I don't want my asshole to just slam shut. Yeah. Um, this factoid says lots of people are having anal sex, men more than women. No. Duh. Duh. Oh, get out of here. everybody. Uh, now, another weird thing that I did hear, I was hanging out with a friend. She farted in her hand and she fucking huffed it in front of me like a Neanderthal. She buttercupped herself. She buttercupped herself. Is that oh my a God. buttercup? 
that it's called it's, a butter cup. I'd call it a butthole cup. But <laughs> um, <laughs> so she hops her fart, <laughs> and of course I was just like my brain exploded, you know, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And she was like, "If you huff your farts, it helps to prevent cancer." And I was uh-huh. like, "No, She's getting high on her own supply." No. Okay, now I'm going <laughs> to bring this up. Bouillon. <laughs> now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. You'll see. I'm going to uh, auto dictate. If I yeah. hand you Teresa's camera, are you okay with me sitting, or oh, yeah. you still I was want me standing? About to say, I've okay. reached a point, and oh, you yeah. can look at it if you'd like. Oh, uh, so go look at your butt. I we don't get to see our own death, butts but, uh, very okay. often. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I love that. Holy shit! Yeah, look how your oh. your butt has some really nice uh, musculature in it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you must work out. I I do work out. Yeah, and I have the sex. Yeah, I, I have, the, have sex. the sex. <laughs> yes, which That's is a lot great. of squatting. Oh my god! So I was reading different. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Well, okay. Mm. Wait till you see it later. <laughs> so here it is in the New York Post. So like, I was talking with a friend about how sniffing a partner's uh, farts could, you know, possibly ward off disease. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but like, I guess I found the times and places when I'm closed-minded and closed buttocks. Because I was like, no, there's no way. But here it is, the New York Times saying sniffing your partner's farts could help to ward off disease. Oh and, you know, now I'm a huffer, you guys. Every time I fart, I don't care if I'm in public, I put my hands down my pants. And I'm like, Ugh. Wait, you really do that? No, I don't. Okay. I don't do that at all. <laughs> um, but I like the visual Wait, of it. I haven't you doing that yet. Yeah, right? right? I just need, well, it's because I don't eat beans. I don't get enough of that stuff. I'm back. Oh, yeah. that's right, because they're high carb. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, let's see. It, it says... Now we get a tiny bit of the front action. So it says hydrogen yeah. hydrogen sulfide, yeah. the gas that gives flatulence its repulsive smell, can help reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, cancer, and help stave off dementia. And you'd think it would kill brain cells, so it's kind of you know counterintuitive. But it's like when you do those... Um, what is it? The mineral baths they mm-hmm. smell like farts right and that's good for you mm-hmm. uh, so yeah. when you're in the bath with your partner and you fart just say you're welcome you're welcome you are I welcome buttercup you because i love you <laughs> yeah. damn it i'm gonna give you a dutch oven because i love you <laughs> so much i want you to live forever <laughs> stay under <laughs> yeah it goes into detail look at this it says when we're sick our cells create their own hydrogen sulfide which helps keep the mitochondria our cells power generators in working order Without the gas, the cell the cells die and lose their ability to fight off disease. Yeah. Wow. Researchers at the University of Oh Exeter. Oh question. Okay. Someone read it out loud. I okay. can't see it. Butt aesthetics are trendy and change with the times. What do you feel sets the butt trends? Oh, we talked a little Rap bit. Rap videos. I mean, we talked a little bit about this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever um Sociologically speaking, it's usually the upper class that mm, sets, oh, that's true. Sets yeah. the trends, uh, sets the standard for for beauty. So, um, back when people were starving to death, real big butts were in style, like Rubenesque. Like, oh yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was considered, uh, you know, posh to be what we would call today chonky. Chonky. <laughs> uh, yeah. And now, um, I think the the aesthetic is that that you're thin. But, but, mm-hmm. but, yeah, maybe, um, maybe even artificially thin with artificial looking proportions. Um, yeah, just because that says that you have money, you have enough money right. for a personal trainer. Maybe you have enough money for breast implants or mm-hmm. yeah, a Brazilian mm-hmm. butt lift. And and a good Pilates instructor. A good Pilates yeah, instructor. Uh-huh. personal yeah. trainer. So, maybe even take out a rib or two. You know, just to like make Janet that Jackson. waist a little smaller. Yeah, so I think, she did I that. Think, I think yeah. that has something to do with it. I also, um, I also blame capitalism for a lot of our beauty oh, totally. standards. Totally, yeah. because, totally, totally. Um, consumerism. Consumerism says just like, hey, you can look like this if you spend. You know, if you're as long as you're insecure, you'll keep spending money. So right, like, exactly. You, know, you pay for this, and then you'll then you'll be almost your right. butt will almost <laughs> be good enough. Yeah. yeah. And almost. I think the, in the you know, 80s. Almost look like this airbrushed, uh, you know, Photoshop model. But yeah. almost. I think in the 80s, <laughs> exactly. too, it was like people could afford enough cocaine to be emaciated. That's 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 what the rich people did back then. <laughs> yeah. you know. And now it's like yeah. personal trainers and uh, intravenous 
wheatgrass juice. Mm-hmm. Getting my how things have changed, Mildred. I know. I, I know. know. It's crazy. And I, there's nothing I can do to be up in the current times. That's why I'm still going to physical therapy is I just wanted to get some kind of slam and corn cutter of some kind, like maybe <laughs> tiny but mighty. Can you go to physical and, therapy for your butt? Well, because so like I just got sick of not having a butt and like just I wanted to not feel so embarrassed about my tiny butt. And so I started doing the kettlebell workouts. Mm. You have a cute butt. I don't think well, you have anything. Thanks. Ashamed of. Well, thank you so much. That's right. <sighs> Love your butt. Um, explosive movement will build muscle. Like, like diarrhea? Well, no. no. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, it's like looking at sprinters versus looking at marathon runners. Oh, explosive movement. Expl- not explosive, explosive bowel movement. movement. So like okay, okay, gotcha. um, jump squats, stuff like that. Like when yeah. I was in Taekwondo and I was jump squatting basically mm-hmm. every day for an hour, my butt was so round. Like it, it actually looked like a cartoon of yeah. a butt. Like a, I'd only be afraid. I mean, that's how I injured my butt and why I go to physical therapy oh, was like, okay. I have no ass. And so in trying to get an ass, I pushed all my exercises oh. and then I tore an ass muscle. Oh, no, you tore your I butt. I did. You, t- you tore yourself a new butt. I, I tore myself a new ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. And then um, and then oh, it took no. a year to heal. Oh. And then I went from like a 25 pound belt to like, a, you know, a 15 mm-hmm. and then I tore my ass again. <gasps> Oh so now God. I'm in physical therapy. Like, yeah. I do bar, and there's something uh, um, I do at Pure Bar called Empower, which is a lot of explosive movement. It's like a cardio mm-hmm. version, mm-hmm. Um, you know, high intensity intervals of mm-hmm. of doing um, ballet movements. But it, we just use weight, uh, wrist weights, and ankle weights. Oh, that's mm-hmm. nice. So that might and it gives work everybody better. a nice ass. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I look around at my class and everybody's got a nice butt. Like there's, yeah. a, there's a specific thing about bar that really trains your Bar and butt. It does for sure. Yeah. 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 It raises the bar with butts. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. There's many, many interesting factoids here on this fascinating facts about butts. Oh. 23 weird facts about butts. Um, let's see. Uh, like there's been an increase in, in bud augmentation. It started oh, yeah. back in 2013. Yep. And plastic surgeons, uh, they're giving. Did we already talk about the fix a flat lady? Yeah, you mentioned oh, yeah. the fix a flat lady. Okay, and I think I. Air when we did that? I, 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 yeah, I think, I think so. I think, I think so. That was right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that fix a flat lady and that basically the, the fix a flat she was spraying into people's asses ended up having this terrible reaction and would yeah. cause like. Duh. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. Duh. I think Larry said it was fix a flat. Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't even put that together. <laughs> ah, me neither. Yeah. That's my so flatulent awesome. brain didn't put that together. Your, your flatulent. My flatulent brain. Uh huh. Your brain is big and round. Big. Yeah. Thanks, baby. <laughs> baby got brain. That's the song uh-huh. I sing when I go out there on the town. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at my ass. Just look in my ear. It's in there. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, uh, interesting to watch the butt trends change, though. It um, it is, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that actually we're embracing <sighs> big butts. I think it's healthier, even though I don't. I still don't like all the superficiality of like mm-hmm. gotta have an itty bitty waist and well, gotta. I think, I think now we're kind of. I'm seeing embracing um, all body types finally. Like this is yes, out much where, better. Where. Um, you know, it's just not okay to to body shame or tell somebody that their body is wrong. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing like the pendulum swung in the direction of big butts for a little while. And then there were all of these like songs and pop culture memes and, and all these things kind of like dissing skinny people and skinny right. butts. But skinny butts can't help being skinny butts either. Like oh, as long as you're you're healthy. It. Like yeah. so th- that's what I'm seeing. Like even even yeah. Victoria's Secret, um, yeah. they were the last to kind of sign on to this after yeah. all of these uh, like Fenty Beauty and, and all those other companies started like eating away at their share. But um yeah. uh, they have they have bigger models now and they have yeah. like skinny like nice. tiny little models, like they always have, but right. yeah. different shapes too. Like yeah. I'm yeah. seeing like a lot more shapes and sizes represented. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Fenty yeah. Beauty, R- Rihanna's company, or was it Fent- Savage X Fenty? It's Fenty yeah. Beauty's her makeup line. Yeah. But yeah. I even I've even seen some um, some models that she has that are amputees or have uh, they're in a wheelchair. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's nice. rad. That happens to be my fetish. I'm gonna go look <laughs> at her catalogs and whack off. <laughs> her her uh, fashion show is no. off the chain. Like if you ever get a chance to see it, it's like really? there's like men women like all different shapes sizes colors and they're mm. all out there just strutting their stuff in her fancy wow. lingerie strutting that booty yeah oh yeah. yeah yeah so that's that was my answer tying back into my answer about like what do i look for in a butt like i just look for it to be a butt mm-hmm. and just i want be a butt be just be a butt and i want i want you to love it and be happy with it be yeah. the best butt you can be. be the best butt you can be yes yeah, yeah. be good to yeah. your butt yeah, my vagina is jealous of my butthole, you know, um, <laughs> in, in some of the stuff way. that I was yeah. reading, about, <laughs> uh, reading about online, they were talking about how they think maybe even the vaginal, like the the punani camel toe evolved to maybe distract men forward, you know, the attention oh. forward from the ass oh. to the vagina. Like the body's like, no, no, here, this, this, this side, this no, side. No. Yeah, this, this is where you make yeah. the babies. And, you know, develop the breasts even more to get more attention so yeah. that your front two, instead of going for that tight little asshole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, yeah. It's just really too bad that, you know, uh, nature didn't think like, I got an idea. Let's put another sphincter in the vagina so that men won't be like, nah, I want to fuck that tight little ass. I don't care if it smells like shit, you know, because I don't know, just, just like women, you know, there's this uh, social sort of obsession with big dicks. Well, you know, I think that there's, yeah, the flip side is the tight pussy and the mm-hmm. bussy, mm-hmm. you know, that's, there's just no comparing with that. It's yeah. always going to yeah. be tight. Yeah. That's why my first boyfriend was such a sodomizer. You know, it was like, I'm kegling. Uh-huh. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't get any tighter. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember you had that but. gross carrot. Oh, the- yeah. <laughs> he was- did I he mention that on, on this? I can't remember. I don't think I did. I don't think we talked about this. Okay. So my very first boyfriend, uh, he really uh, liked to, as he put it, um, very seductively, do me in the pooper. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, yeah. That's a hot way to say it. He used to say, and like we were, we were fucking kids. And, you know, back in 1842 when we were kids, yeah. there just wasn't all this like, you know, uh, this wellspring of like knowledge shared through the interwebs and everything. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know about like, you know, um, front unloading, you know, the situation with things like enemas and. Oh, yeah. Uh, lube. Hello. Oh, God. You know? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. You I, were doing it in the butt without lube. Yeah. I mean, like oh, when, you were, when you were a teenager, did you remember lube even existing? I mean, maybe no. KY. Maybe I'd heard of KY. But yeah, I didn't think. Yeah. I don't I, think yeah. we thought we needed it. Right. You know, Ooh, I, I mean, isn't that why God that. made spitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> but um spitty butthole yeah so like uh he would just like pound me you know down in brown town and we <laughs> didn't know about like enemas or you know anything like that and i'd be like crawling up the walls like oh god when is this gonna be over Aww, i know poor little deer <laughs> poor little butthole poor little butthole and uh butthole. anyway oh we have another question too oh. oh boy um to be continued I'll, oh I'll get yeah back to my story what does it say? Kim Kardashian sure did change opinions surrounding butt aesthetics. For, for better, better or, or worse? worse? That's the question. I, I, I would say for worse just because it seems like it got there via surgery and that maybe yeah. that adds to some people being less satisfied with their bodies mm-hmm. um, because it is, I mean, and I know some people could be born with that shape. I yeah. think with the amount of money and the resources she has, I think doubt that she is i mean she got her own fat injected into her toes for her fucking wedding like she did her her toes yes yeah oh my god i don't know maybe she didn't like having skinny toes but anyway so i think that 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 sends a message like the fact that so many people look up to her and it's this almost unattainable body type yeah totally to me It's it's to me that's worse yeah and any anything that says you know, anyone that says like, hey, love your body, you know, look at, I've got an imperfection here and one there and, you know, mm-hmm. and and kind of accepting that and still moving forward through life with confidence. I think that is better. Right. I think so too. And also uh, fetishizing the product of <clears throat> um, plastic surgery. 
yeah. we're digressing. We're moving. You know, it's it's great that we're starting to embrace all the different body types, but fetishizing the outcome of plastic surgery, I think okay, is... That's become the new norm. So mm-hmm. yeah, I was, um, I work at my day job with some some younger people. And I remember I was working a wedding recently and I saw like the entire wedding party all looked like they had had plastic surgery. Like they all wow. kind of had oh like... God. um filled lips and that's either here or or there like if it makes you happy do it but um but but (laughs) but um (laughs) uh, one of my coworkers, who's probably about you know 22 was just like wow this is is this group of people unusually good looking or what and i was thinking i was kind of thinking they look unusually like unusual uh, yeah unusual like (laughs) they look they look unusually um like filled and Botoxed and, and, and all of those things. Like all what I saw was like, these people have worked very hard to look a certain way, but not necessarily uh, like, I didn't think of it as like, wow, what a good looking group of people. Like, right, right. So they look um, doctored up. They look doctored uh-huh. up. Yeah. So, but like for her, yeah. that was like, yeah. that that's what a, a, like what a good looking person looks like. Mm-hmm. Right. And it, so, it yeah. can become, um, you know, again, it, it signifies that you have wealth, like we said earlier. Yeah. And now I'm going to look uh, uh, up this factoid because I shared this the other night when we were hanging out. Uh, and now I can't remember which country it, it's in, but um, I just remember that somewhere in the Middle East, um, it was, uh, it, you know, the rich people get nose jobs very often. And mm-hmm. so it's become popular like a, a fashion statement or, you know, like, uh, uh, oh, just like, I can't think of the word. A rite of passage. Yeah. Well, like a rite of passage, but it signifies you have wealth. I can't remember uh-huh, that word. Uh-huh. Anyway. Okay. And a status symbol. Thank you. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Woo. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's a status symbol for people to just put the bandages as if they had a nose job and oh. they'll wear around just the bandages to make it look like they just had a nose job. Wow. So wow. that, you know, yeah, it signifies to other people like, oh, they have money. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rhinoplasty, Middle East. It's too bad that we don't just value humans more. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. bummer. I know. Instead of getting well, like more, um, Ah, just extreme and fixated. I was really hoping that in our evolution, we would sort of just begin to reject all of that so that mm-hmm. we can get back to what really matters. Like, Oh, I like this guy's OG nose first. I know. Or yeah. I like it better. It's like it has so much more character and like, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like big nose. I know. I know. I, that's that's I one of the reasons. Odd. I know. Well, it's, you know, then you can, not- they can, you can please two people at the same time. Ride <laughs> ride the bridge. My nose. I got a hump right here. You do. You know, it's great for eating ass. The humpty hump. Yeah. It's, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you just get your nose in there and wiggle it. It ain't oh. bad at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the taint tickler. <laughs> the taint tickler. Exactly. <laughs> I should put like a tiny saddle on it and give oh. someone a riding crop, you know. <laughs> but I feel like. <laughs> Actually, like there's a little bit of sort of like, um, like I never liked it. I think I told you when I was in high school, I used to like pretend that my, you oh, know, I remember I, you doing that. Put my finger over the bridge of my nose and imagine the bridge of my nose not there. Yeah. You know, and when Cher got her nose job, I was like, you traitor, you <laughs> fucking traitor. No one's going to let you eat their ass ever again. <laughs> But then um, she just left you and Barbara Streisand. Saying, exactly, Fuck you. all the more for us. You and Barbara Streisand, the only people that have a bump in their nose. Who? But yeah, that's it. The only yeah. they're the only I, two people left with bumps in their nose. I have the opposite. I always kind of wanted a nose like yours, and um, there was one time you that I weirdo. actually got into. <laughs> I accidentally was. I slammed. Accidentally, um, I accidentally. I'm trying to remember what the scenario was, but it's it's not important. Um, I, I, I had an accident where I bumped the bridge of my nose so hard <laughs> that I actually had a temporary little swelling there. And Ooh. I was kind of excited about it. I was like, whoa, is this what, did I just give myself a nose job? Is oh, that what so I'm going to look funny. like? And I was really sad that it just healed and went back to. Oh, <laughs> you got the cutest little nose. It's just a I little know. button. I love it's it. It's a button. It's a butt. You can still poke a butt, poke a butt with your button. Good. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. really have to get in there, though. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I bet you do, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. I, wow. I know. I was just thinking about, um, I remember in junior high, I had, uh, I butt-shamed a teacher really bad. This is my you confession. Wait, moment. in person? 
like worse than their in face. person. Okay, you yeah. know, kids are just sometimes just yeah. fucking clueless and stupid and yeah, don't realize. Totally. And so I had this math teacher that really hated me because I was just such a disruption. It was like one of my most unfavorite subjects. So yeah. she was always sending me to the back of the class for being a disturbance. And then she'd send me to the front of the class for being a disturbance. <laughs> she didn't know what the fuck to do with me. Yeah. You know, but I was like, just, I can't just sit here. Uh -huh. This and, is boring. Yeah. Yeah. And then in Mr. Hewittson's art class, mm -hmm. do you remember him in mm -hmm. junior high? I do. Um, he had us like. He didn't like me. Yeah. For some He's reason. He's Ugh. had something he's against He's another bunk. story. He's a fucking weirdo. He's a fucking fucker. I think he's, no, I won't, I won't, I won't get sued. I won't say that. Fucker. Um, but anyway, shouldn't have said his name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this math teacher that I, I just, I kind of hated her back because she was constantly punishing me, you mm -hmm. know, and yeah. kind of showing the class my bad grades, saying them out loud and things <gasps> like that. Whoa. And so inside, I just oh, like terrible. fucking hated her. And so Whoa. in Mr. Hewitson's class, we went through like uh, learning how to make cartoons, which you've always been amazing at. Yeah. And they were saying, he was saying like essentially, oh, did I, m I left this part out? This teacher had a huge ass. Mm -hmm. Like she looked like, uh, what do you call Pan the Goat Man? That kind of a being. Oh, yeah. A big bubble bit, but whatever that is. Yeah. I know it's not a satyr. Uh -huh. But anyway, so he said like, you know, what you do is you kind of like exaggerate some of their prominent features. Mm -hmm. You can draw any. So the assignment was to draw a teacher and practice your cartooning oh. skills. And she also had like a nose that went up like a little piggy and a uh -huh. very short upper lip and big teeth. Uh -huh. And oh. and she was a bitch. <laughs> and so uh, I made this cartoon of her that I mean, the likeness. Oh, mwah. Um, and uh -huh. then what they did is they hung all the paintings up in the staff room. And so what did I do? Oh. I gave her the biggest polyester ass. So she, her ass is like, you know, to <laughs> like what would be the camera. And she's looking over her shoulder with a little tiny teats and and going mm, with her, you know, pig nose sticking up in her I, big buck teeth. I can't believe he hung those. He did. He hung it in the staff room. Maybe he didn't like her also. I yeah, think so. yeah. But he maybe. looked at it. No, I mean, he looked at it and he said like, Teresa, you've got to erase this down. Make it a little smaller. So I pretended to. And I was like, no, fuck her. You know, <laughs> left it like that. Really he that fucking man. hung it. Oh, it was huge. And um, and she did have a tiny little waist. Like, honestly, she would have been a rapper's delight. But then, uh, you know, he came back to me and said, Teresa, your painting disappeared from the staff room, ooh, ooh, you know, ooh. and it was right at the end of the school year. And so we were all signing each other's yearbooks and she calls me up and she's like, Teresa, my little artist, why did you come sign my yearbook? You know, and I went up to the front class with my tiny little ass clenched. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. I knew she couldn't spank me, though. So, yeah, she didn't feel they too scared. probably just stopped spanking. I remember in what was it? Fifth grade. Watching one kid get spanked. Yeah. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. You guys yeah. got spanked in school? I didn't, but I watched one person get spanked. Oh, wow. That's surprising. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, we're not that fucking old. We're not 100. <laughs> well, <Yet. laughs> I think Aloha Oregon might mm -hmm. have been a little behind the times Oregon. with certain things. Yeah, I'd put the yeah. gun in Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty nutty. A hola. A hola. A hola. <laughs> I like it. A hola. In, in hori gun. <laughs> I come from a hola. Yeah. Well, as we gun. start like losing time, um, oh, yeah. You know, wow. uh, I just wanted to, to <gasps> say oh, to everybody yeah, so that close. we are going to show the finished product of Hori's uh, lovely butt painting of Char. <laughs> I can't wait. I guess whenever you get it done, we'll see if, if it's next week or the week after. But I look forward to the big debut. I the debut can't debut. wait. It's going to yeah. be amazing. And I think we already said this, but just to make sure, we did put a, a link to your website, right? Or your yes. something, Facebook page. It's yep. hollyhoganart.com. Yeah. You can yes. see more of my finished products. Yeah. yeah. I'm and, sure Michael got it in there. And get a hold of her because, again... Um, it's such a wonderful, rare gift, mm -hmm. but also she does some really cute, awesome pet portraiture. Yeah, and, and I think your prices are too. really good. Like They are. Super, yeah. They're a little too so, good. Tip so her. It. Give yeah. her a tip. Give her a tip. I watch how much time. Not just, <laughs> just that tip. Yeah, yeah. I stole that. <laughs> not just the tip this time. <laughs> More. 
Um, Give her the yeah, deep I watch, deck, I watch baby. how much time and consideration <laughs> oh, she puts nothing. into it. And sometimes she buys like vintage frames and puts <laughs> lights in them. Oh. She's the real fartist. Oh, what? I do charge. I upcharge for this. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as that, you should. God. That's an option. I'm almost flashing titties. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's the other butt. My front butt was showing. Yes, yeah, your front butt. All right, there we oh, go. I'm that tucked is, in. I'm glad you said that because that is one of the factoids I forgot to mention about cleavage. Because, you know, mm. cleavage is not a natural thing. Like, breasts fall down, open, and away from each other. But we invented cleavage by smashing our tits together, mm-hmm. hiking them up in bras, And so one day I was thinking about like, I wonder why that is that we get into like, I call it front butt. Yeah. And it's because it sort of reminds men of like asses. Yeah. How much they want to pound it. It is is really fun. Front butt. It's front butt. Butt. Yeah. Uh. Me, me, me talk pretty. I'm still not recovered from Saturday. I'm not either. Jesus sage Christ. This is the week that Therese and I are both equally brain dead like we're thank goodness you're here holly because we are just not (laughs) we're special we're we're both drooling on our front butts today you know i wouldn't change a thing though in the movie idiocracy the the number one um film in what was what was the year the idiocracy was set in it was like 2400 or something yeah um the the number one movie is ass the movie and what? it's and it's just two <laughs> hours of it. a man like it's his ass and like he scratches it every once in a while every once in a while it farts and the whole crowd is just like yeah, woo! that's it a guy yeah. standing there yeah. showing his ass so for this two is hours. this is perfect material for brain dead people you're thinking with yeah. your butt perfect yeah. perfect yeah. I love it but but isn't that a um a song. But no, I'm I'm thinking of cunts. Oh, that's it. That's, that's the butthole surfer butthole song. Surfers. But it is by the butthole surfers. Right yeah. there, you go. The butthole surfers. We should play that, that someday. That was one of so my favorite songs. The for butthole while. surfers. Um, are they surfing on buttholes, or are they behaving like buttholes? Mm. Like, are like, mm. what's the? I mean, Ooh. I'm a I'm a fan. I'm just yeah. wondering what. Are they the buttholes or I do they like to surf on buttholes? Or? I've always liked the idea that they were surfing on buttholes. Me too. That's really you how know? I thought about it was that yeah. like maybe someone got some water on their butthole and they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cow Cow going to man. yeah. I want to surf on your butthole. I saw them live in the 90s at some point in the 90s and it nice. was one of the most incredible shows. Really. They had a nice. painted naked woman like just covered in paint dancing off to the side. It was really Wow, I love yeah. it. I got to see yeah. the Red Hot Chili Peppers when they were, um, like, I think this was in the 80s. And they were amazing because all they wore on stage was tube socks over their it genitals. It was that one. Yep. It was that. Con- yep. Oh, And wow. they played till their tube socks fell off. And then they were just up there, like, wildly helicoptering with their dicks while they <laughs> played and sang. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why wasn't you know? I there? Yeah. Damn it. Was- it. It was before that song, uh, uh, what was it, Under the Cherry Bridge? No, that's Prince. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now. We had good weekends. Good weekend. (laughs) No half brain. It's only Tuesday. Yeah, right? We are not expected to fully recover until Wednesday, right? I hope that happens. Tuesday, you're still, like, your brain chemistry is still kind of, like, Uh, getting back on track. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, hey, just out of curiosity, did we ever hook up your uh, PayPal? No, because I suck. And just but I'm doing I'm God doing it all this week. Sakes. I'm I swear to you, I have canceled almost everything I've I've had planned all week and I am getting in it and I'm gonna post the red bubble stuff. I'm tonight? going to do maybe not tonight. Okay. Let's see. But this week I'm gonna be so dedicated. Let's post, let's post your PayPal tonight. I yeah. keep trying to get everyone to to feel free to, you know, support with tips and, and mm-hmm. Patreon, but a lot of people are confused. <laughs> and we're like, by you it. can't pay us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I won't give you a link. We'll just guilt trip you every week and give you no <laughs> and be like, outlet. Why no won't way you of pay me? <laughs> <laughs> we're idiots. So. No. Um so in other news, um I so I just got a court date set for the big D. Oh, um, the big divorce. Which might be the 12th. Oh. So it might be sooner rather than later, which is one reason. That's one reason I've canceled a lot of things and have am becoming more um, antisocial because I do have to get prepare a lot of stuff for that. But that mm-hmm. also but. makes me. But. <laughs> <laughs> but that also makes me want to take care of other things like. 
being able to monetize this and being yeah. able to have merchandise for people and who would sponsors. like to. And sponsors. And sponsors, yeah. Let's get some sponsors. Well, fuck yeah. yourself. Yeah, I want to. Thanks, Holly. I want to go. I want to glow. Emotional abuse. Clone a Willie. Yeah. Glow fleck. I can't say <laughs> glow fleck like yourself. Glow fleck. <laughs> no can talk, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which reminds me. Oh my god, I'm so glad you said clone a Willie. So, oh yeah, are so, we? Oh, are uh, we I, really weenie? I, tr- I had to go out and get that new kind of silicone. Yeah. And I got to say, man, don't ever try this at home. Just use their fucking kit and don't yeah. fuck it up. Use a real dick. You That's just try. A thick dick, no, man. Tr- try to pull the silicone oh, away wait, from this glow in the dark. I have very dick. strong hands. It's, un- I know. I was, so I was. Is this the big unveiling of the new? Yeah, yeah but see, they're so stuck together. Oh, geez. That like. I could not. I worked oh, on this, this is thing. Like, you know when I you boil an egg hours. and the freaking shell yes, won't come off of the egg? To the shell and you just want to eat that oh, egg I eat you or just, that dick. I just want to put this dick in my mouth. Can I? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, God. Don't poop yourself. Uh, not oh live. God, I'm straining so hard. <laughs> God, you're a strong bitch. I am I a strong bitch. That. Anyway, so... We may or may not ever get this God, out. I think I'm tearing the vein off this cock. Oh, my. It wouldn't be the first time, would it? <laughs> I wrecked that Stop cock. Stop kegling. Stop <laughs> kegling. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, shit. I love it. Well, okay. That's yours if you want it. I still highly endorse. Uh, endorse. 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 I highly endorse the we clone. We fucking endorse the we shit out of that. <laughs> yeah. Go clone your corn dog. It's yeah. great. Um, I, was, I, I endorse uh, them. I just don't endorse anything uh, but them. Don't try it at home. Yeah, don't, don't try and do a home but, kit. Oh, I think I made some progress, but I, I really am like, I'm creating a hole. Yeah. Well, this weenie has a hole. The weenie has a hole. Just like all dicks deep oh, inside have an unclosed vagina that developed yes. when we were embryos. Did you guys know that? I am. Every guy has a vaginal orifice deep inside his yeah, penis well, that never closes I up. I think. Yeah, piss flaps yeah. become balls. There's a song waiting to happen here. Piss flaps become balls and your clitoris becomes your dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Ovaries drop down in the testicles. Didn't the Brady Bunch Giving do that lot? song? Yeah, I think you're right. I think they did. Family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll post it later. Yeah. We, we want to cut to. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh yeah, yeah. Maybe one Let's last cut, cut to, to, to Holly's butt. Shar's butt. My my butt with Holly. Um, it's obviously not finished, but um. But, 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 but rotate it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Do you want us to rotate her, her butt? Move the mic away. Oh, the mic away. No. You're out of here, no. microphone. Like, oh, God. Yeah. So this is how far still in the way. Oh, still in the way. Oh, God. No, the, uh, the microphone. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Now. Yeah, I moved it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's delay. Oh, we. Oh, oh, I love it. Yeah. You paint big butts and you cannot lie. Yeah. You other painters can't Woo. deny. No, so obviously it'll be a lot more polished and finished uh, when when it is. Finished. You're gonna polish that ass, aren't you? I yeah. am gonna polish that ass. I'm Wouldn't be the first it. time for sure with that either. Let's not talk <laughs> about right. this weekend I though. Car buffer. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You do. <laughs> I do. A booty buffer. Mm-hmm. I got a booty buffer for just. Well, that tune into our tune in next week when we get to maybe have the big reveal. I know you have other ways that you need to make money until then. So we'll see if we yeah. get lucky or not. You know, or you know, if it takes longer, you can reveal your butt yourself the week after, maybe. Maybe we All can right. try a real clone of Willie because I do feel very dissatisfied with this, mm-hmm. and I think I may have found. A human with a willy that would actually let us do it. Yes. Totally. Totally. I'd love to do that. Let's okay. do it. Let's have a do over. A yeah. clone a willy do over. Yeah. This was very disappointing. Do it. But we can probably save the vibe out of this. I think it's going to come out. Yeah. I think you're right. So we um, don't have to get the so vibrating kit. We can just get the regular I one. I think we're out of time, biatch. Yeah. Oh, dude, so we are. T- oh, tune into our Whoops. tune in next week when Shar's big butt says, <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah, remember to like and subscribe because that yeah, stuff do that. still counts. Just fucking do that, and if you're our friend, especially, look, like, show you these. Oh, oh yes, here's my here's my butt, my second butt, your your front butt, your chest butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you glad that doesn't fart and shit? Oh my yeah. god, oh, that'd god. be a horrible smell. Motorboating, it would take motorboating to a whole new level. <laughs> just saying. Oh, we just <laughs> 
mud is called what is it? Mud flapping. Mud oh, flapping. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. It, and then when you do it in someone's piss flaps, that should be like tuna boating. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yes. we could go on all oh night. We'll god, let I you guys this. go. Thank you. I love tuning into our tuna. And see you next Tuesday. Now I'm the gal that you see. You are the flip my lid. Call me your eager beaver, baby. Eager beaver, baby. Eager beaver, baby. Eager beaver, baby.